Hello happy faces and welcome back. Today, new day, new component in Framer. I'm going to walk you through how to create from scratch a toggle switch in Framer. The toggle switch is one of those components that is really, really common, mainly in the mobile design when it comes to settings and how it works usually in terms of user experience. So the toggle switch is never related to a secondary action. What does it mean? It means that when you click on a switch or a toggle, the results of the action will take place instantly. So there is no save button connected to a toggle switch. So if you're interested, remember to uh, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment, and let's get started. So let's talk about the toggle switch. Toggle switch is a really used component and is composed by two main items, which is the background and actually the handle, which is the circle that you drag to make the action happen. So it's really simple to create it. Uh, let's create it by using two frames. The sizes that I'm going to use are not at all correct. So let's uh, create your own de depending on your design, right? So here we are. Let's change the background color with a preset. Let's do it uh, like this. And size, let's say 120 by 60. And yeah, actually that's it. And let's create a new frame. New frame. Here we are. And create a circle. And let's make it a little bit bigger like this. Yeah, circle again and with option uh, you can see uh, all the paddings inside so you can see the distances if are correct now are correct okay so this is the toggle and this is the handle yeah pretty simple let's create a component from this let's create a component create and now we are inside the component from the component, I create a simple new variant. The variant will be basically the uh, activate, active state. And I will bring this to the right, simply like, simple like that. And we'll change the background color with green. And let's change also the um, shadow of this handle. Like, um, you know, I like a lot this kind of things about framer that I can choose between uh, the standard way of creating uh, shadows and the realistic one, which is cool. I always use this one because it's super cool. Fusion here, I change here to 16. And as you can see, it's reflected also on the uh, active state. So this is off and this is actually on. Now what do we have to do? Mm, super simple. We just have to take the handle here and drag it over the on, on top, and same thing from the on to the off, on top. And if we go back on the off, we can change also the spring here. We can use ease, instant, and for the spring, I want something a little bit bouncy, so I can put the dumping here a little bit and put here the stiffness and eventually the mass to have it a little bit like if the ball is really heavy. It's done. So let's go to the preview and let's put here, click, 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 it works. Now let's say that I want to create something a more, you know, sprinkle winkle, a, more, a little bit more fancy, uh, like a dark light mode switch. And let's do it by clicking on this and create a new variant from this. Here we are. So this will be basically the light mode. And let's change the fit color here with a gradient. I already created a preset before, uh, finally that uh, actually Framer introduced this. Uh, in the preset here, I use this preset. And here we are, like this. And let's create a dark mode. Again, we move this here. We see if everything is in order and the background color we change like this. Move this a little bit here like this. Okay. And this, let's rename it to dark. I have to insert basically an icon. I will put it from the glue material design. Change the color here. 
with styles, light mode, let's change the dimension here, like here, like that, like that, and change the icon to a light mode, which is an icon that we already have. That's why I'm using the Material Google Design icon set. And in dark mode, as you can see here, we already have the icon. Let's put it visible and change to dark mode, right? Let's change also the field color with, with like um, dark purple, yeah, something like that. And that's not all, right? First of all, we have to change obviously the connection because actually, as you can see, the light here is connected to the to the previous version. So we have to change that here like this, the handles and the connections and here to light on top. That's it. So the spring will be always the same. You can change it. It's as you prefer. Now, we can uh, actually do what to create some graphic inside i want that up, that on the dark mode appears some stars when i switch on dark mode and that when i switch on light mode appears a cloud let's create some stars here a little bit smaller yeah like this light light like this this a little bit bigger something like this and yeah, let's position it here and these are the stars. And let's create again with G a sort of, yeah, cloud something. Let's try to do something uh, fun like this. Let's move it a little bit more on the top. And let's do this like that. Okay. Yeah. That's great, okay. So now, as you can see, we have stars and this, it actually is the cloud that are outside the components. So let's drag them inside a component. And as you can see, we don't see anything. Why? Because we have the overflow hidden. Let's put visible and drag actually the cloud inside this. Let's put the overflow to hidden again. And in dark mode, Let's do the same. So let's take cloud and stars visibles. And I want to move uh, both on the bottom, right? So that actually the clouds uh, goes down uh, outside and the stars comes from the top. And we did it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> so let's preview this. And uh, here we are, right? Cool, right? So we have uh, this new super cool version of toggle dark light mode. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's see you in the next one. Bye.